What if a tank could shoot down incoming missiles on its own? What if its crew could survive even a direct hit? And what if I told you this tank already exists and it's not the Abrams or the Leopard? Meet the Merkava 4, an Israeli-built machine that breaks all the rules of conventional warfare. Who designed it? Why is the engine placed in the front? And why is there a rear hatch like on an armored personnel carrier? And is it true that it destroys missiles before they even strike? You've never looked at tanks this way before. This isn't just about firepower, it's about survival. Behold the beauty, Merkava 4. Its most distinctive feature, the engine sits at the front. This unconventional layout turns the engine into an extra layer of armor. The Trophy Active Protection System detects and intercepts incoming missiles and anti-tank guided weapons, offering effective defense against some of the deadliest threats of modern battlefields, including javelins and cornets. Every design choice in the Merkava 4 serves a single purpose, to maximize crew survivability and battlefield resistance. But this machine didn't appear out of nowhere. The story behind Israel's Merkava tanks is as compelling as the vehicles themselves. Back in the 1960s and 70s, Israel relied heavily on foreign tanks. British Centurion, American M48, M60 Patton, captured Soviet T-54-55, and even World War II Sherman. However, in 1969, Great Britain unexpectedly refused to supply Israel with its newest chieftain tanks, despite successful joint trials. That moment was a wake-up call. Israel realized that depending on foreign suppliers for its national defense was a dangerous gamble. The visionary behind the Merkava project was Major General Israel Tal, a veteran of the Arab-Israeli wars, a brilliant technician, and reformer of the Israeli Armored Forces. He had survived several wars and knew that in Israeli realities, surviving matters more than sheer firepower. That's why the Merkava was built around a single principle, bringing the crew home alive. After the Yom Kippur War, 1973, where Israeli tanks suffered heavy losses from Soviet anti-tank missiles, especially the Malyutka, Tal was given the green light to design a homegrown tank from scratch. A special tank development bureau was established within the Israeli Ministry of Defense. The development of the first prototype of the tank, known by the provisional name Shirion Armor, begins. The design core is formed by military engineers and specialists from Israeli Military Industries IMI, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, and Israel Aerospace Industries IAI. From 1974 to 1976, the first working prototypes were built and tested in the Negev Desert. Engineers experimented with different armor configurations, suspensions, and internal layouts. There was debate over the main gun's caliber. In the end, they chose a 105mm M68, a licensed version of the British L7, over the 120mm for NATO standard logistics. The first production models were assembled at the Tel Hashomer plant. In 1979, the IDF officially commissioned its first Merkava battalion. And here it is, Merkava 1. Weight, 63 tons. Engine, Teledyne Continental AVDS 1790CA diesel. Power, 900 horsepower. Top speed, 46 kilometers an hour on roads. Operational range, 500 kilometers. The engine is already mounted in the front to shield the crew from frontal hits. Armor, multi-layered composite with modular construction. Unique feature, rear hatch allows evacuation of wounded personnel or entry exit of the crew. The main gun of the Merkava 1 is a 105 mm rifled M68 cannon. Ammo load, 62 rounds. Fire control system, analog, with commander and gunner sights. Limited stabilization. There are four people inside the tank, the commander, the gunner, the loader and the driver. The rear compartment can carry up to eight infantrymen or wounded in infantry fighting vehicle mode. Suspension, torsion bar, good for rough terrain. Fast maintenance capability. Many components are modular and field replaceable. Even in its first iteration, the Merkava revealed the strengths that would make it legendary. A unique philosophy centered on protecting the crew. Flexibility, functioning as a main battle tank, APC, and medevac vehicle. 
Streamline logistics and repair thanks to modular design. A reliable and battle-proven 105mm cannon with a wide range of NATO munitions. Excellent mobility across desert and rocky landscapes. But there were downsides too. Comparatively low speed and maneuverability due to its weight and front-mounted engine. Outdated analog fire control compared to contemporary digital systems. Low rate of fire compared to tanks with automatic loaders. Large silhouette and heavy mass made it vulnerable to aircraft and anti-tank missiles. The Merkava-1 was a revolution in tank construction, not in terms of technological power, but as the embodiment of a completely new idea, to put the life of the crew first. Israel has abandoned Soviet and Western doctrine by creating a tank that thinks, not about attacking, but about getting the crew home. The Merkava-1 made its combat debut in 1982 during the First Lebanon War. It quickly became clear that during the fighting that a rapid upgrade was needed. The Merkava-1 performed well, but battlefield conditions revealed which components required improvement. The development of the Merkava-2 began virtually in parallel with the ongoing combat operations, and by 1983, the tank had already entered service. It featured upgraded armor, including on the roof and rear, a new fire control system with a laser rangefinder and stabilization, enhanced mine protection, more effective communication and command equipment, and modifications for urban warfare, including an increased vertical gun elevation angle. While the second generation was essentially a refined version of the first, the third generation represented a major evolutionary leap. The Merkava 3 tank was a completely re-engineered vehicle, tailored for a new kind of warfare. Adversaries had begun to deploy modern anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, with improved armor penetration. Middle Eastern conflicts increasingly took place in rough terrain and urban environments, where greater mobility and firepower were essential. Rivals like the T-80 and M1 Abrams already featured powerful engines and advanced fire control systems. Israel couldn't afford to fall behind. Thus, the Merkava 3's engine power was increased to 1,200 horsepower, General Dynamics GD883, significantly boosting its mobility. Despite maintaining the same weight, the tank became faster and more maneuverable. A new transmission and improved suspension were added. The old 105mm gun was replaced with a 120mm smoothbore gun, developed in Israel. It surpassed not only the firepower of the Merkava 1 and 2, but also that of the T-72's main gun. The Merkava 3 was equipped with a digital fire control system, dual axis stabilization, a laser rangefinder, and thermal imaging. Both the commander and the gunner could simultaneously engage targets using the hunter-killer principle, just like in the best Western main battle tanks. The new generation modular composite armor included additional belly protection, the tank became far more resistant to underbelly explosions and top attack munitions. Digital communication channels allowed the tank to be integrated into the broader combat system, sharing target coordinates, battlefield data, and threat alerts. The Merkava 3 saw service starting in the 1990s and was deployed in operations in southern Lebanon and Gaza. It proved to be a versatile tank, effective both in open combat and urban warfare. It became a true peer to modern Western tanks, while preserving the core principles of Israeli design, a front-mounted engine, rear hatch, and emphasis on crew survivability, all remained in place. The Merkava 3 is still in use with the IDF today, especially in its upgraded Baz and Dor Delay variants. Yes, the Merkava 3 was excellent, but even this tank became vulnerable on the 21st century battlefield adversaries began deploying modern tandem-change ATGMs, such as the Cornet and Metis. Cluster munitions and mines became widespread, particularly in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. Tactics changed. Tanks increasingly faced small mobile groups with RPGs, ambush tactics, and urban jungles. The army needed network integration. Tanks had to operate not as isolated units, but as part of a unified digital battle space. The Merkava 4 project was led by Brigadier General Israel Tal, the visionary behind the Merkava concept, and his successors at the Israel Mod Merkava Tank Program Directorate. Tal passed on the core idea, not just a better protected tank, but a next-generation platform. 
fully prepared for modern challenges, both physical and digital. In 2004, the Merkava 4 was officially adopted by the IDF. What set the Merkava 4 apart? Why did it impress military experts so much? The turret was redesigned from scratch, smaller, lighter, and more resistant to penetration. Inside was a fully digital control system. All systems, fire control, navigation, command, were networked. The crew received real-time data from other vehicles, drones, and headquarters. Improved cannon, still the same 120mm, but in a new version with increased rate of fire and accuracy. It could now fire guided munitions at vehicles and helicopters. Armor was improved as well. Layered modular composite armor with enhanced protection for the roof and belly. Protection against mines, RPGs, ATGMs, and cluster munitions was also upgraded. The Merkava 4 was designed with future active protection systems in mind, although it was not initially equipped with one. Eventually, the Trophy system was installed on this very platform. Trophy is an Israeli Active Tank Protection System APS, Act 4E Protection System, developed by Raphael Advanced Defense Systems in cooperation with Elta Systems, part of Israel Aerospace Industries. Its original name was Mail Ruach, Hebrew for Protective Cloak. It is the world's first APS to demonstrate real battlefield effectiveness, detecting and neutralizing incoming anti-tank threats such as missiles, ATGMs, shaped charged shells, and sometimes even RPGs. Trophy provides real-time protection. It requires no external input and operates fully autonomously. It was this system that turned the Merkava 4 into a truly invulnerable tank. Merkava 4 has been tested in battle. It took part in conflicts in Lebanon, the Gaza Strip, and along the Syrian border. Under real combat conditions, the tank proved one thing. Its design philosophy works. During the Second Lebanon War in 2006, several Merkava 4s took direct hits. Thanks to the front-mounted engine and armored crew capsule, the crews survived. In some cases, the tank was immobilized, but the soldiers were able to safely evacuate through the rear door, protected by armor. The trophy system intercepted incoming anti-tank missiles mid-flight. That changed the nature of armored warfare forever. Firing first was no longer the most important factor. Now, surviving the first strike became the priority. That said, the Merkava isn't invincible. FPV drones, mines, and airstrikes remain serious threats. Yet, even in these conditions, the tank is one of the most survivable on the battlefield. Merkava is not immortal, but if the enemy hesitates for even a fraction of a second, the tank will strike back and the crew will get a chance to survive. As of 2024, Israel has around 360 to 400 Merkava 4 tanks in active service. These vehicles form the backbone of the IDF's armored forces, especially its elite armored brigades like the 401st. Israel has always made one thing clear. Merkava tanks were not for export. The tank was designed specifically for the unique demands of the IDF. First, because of a strategic limitation, Merkava was customized for the Middle East. Second, Israeli law prevented it from being sold to countries whose security could jeopardize Israel or its allies. But in 2023, the Israeli Ministry of Defense made a historic announcement. For the first time, Merkava 4 and 3 tanks would be available for export. Negotiations are underway with several countries, including Colombia and Cyprus. India and some Eastern European nations have also expressed interest. For the first time in over 40 years, the Merkava is becoming an export product. Meanwhile, Israel engineers are ready to present the next generation of tanks, the Merkava 5. Barak, Hebrew for lightning, isn't just an upgrade, it's a new generation purpose-built for the high-tech warfare of tomorrow. The tank is being developed by Israel's Ministry of Defense in collaboration with Elbit Systems, Raphael, and IMI Systems, a subsidiary of Elbit. Merkava 5 Barak incorporates artificial intelligence to analyze battlefield conditions, prioritize targets, and assist the commander in making decisions. Both the commander and the gunner are equipped with AR helmets, 
similar to those used by F-35 fighter jets, with 360-degree vision, real-time tactical overlays, and integration with the fire control system. The new trophy system is even more advanced, capable of intercepting complex threats, including drone swarms and multi-stage anti-tank missiles. Full integration into a networked digital battlefield allows the tank to both receive and share information with drones, command centers, infantry, and artillery in real time. The tank features newly reinforced armor, especially on the top deck, to defend against FPV drones and cluster munitions, an upgraded fire control system, electronic warfare capabilities, and automated threat recognition. Israel officially deployed the fifth-generation Merkava in September 2023. This is the most advanced tank in the world, a ground platform on par with the F-35, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said. Military experts have already hailed the Merkava 5 as a technological masterpiece. The National Interest magazine named it one of the top five tanks in the world in 2024. Merkava isn't just a machine, it's a statement. In a world where tanks are often seen as expendable, Israel built one around a different idea. Not speed, not firepower, but the lives of the crew inside. That philosophy may seem like a weakness, but in reality, it reshaped the standard. Now, even armies with the most cutting-edge vehicles are studying Israel's approach closely. The Merkava is a tank where soldiers don't just fight, they know they have a chance to make it back home. And that means their army has a future.